everybody, welcome. If you're new to the series, be sure to check out part one, but just for a little recap here, I worked over 5,000 hours in 2020 and I made 246 YouTube videos. So I filmed every single day so I compiled everything we did over the year into two videos. So this is part two. But before we jump into the video, I do have one little request. This video took me 14 hours to edit. So if you enjoyed it, all I ask is that you hit the thumbs up button. You guys hear that? It's starting to rain. Does this thing need to be super tight? Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Looks like this one bill is $12,735.42. Ouch. What'd I buy? Huh? Teflon tape. How's it going up there, Coop? Cole's house and he ain't even out here. We got Kevin from Junkyard Digs here. He's working on the MG. How are you making yeah. out? Oh, uh, well, this is an MG. Uh, hey, did you get that on? I did. Sweet. <laughs> oh, it turned over. That is a good sign. The further we come out, the, the further it's going to put that ridge. There's a big rock down in here. and climb the legs. That one right there. Do I have a leg to stand on? Do you have like a, like a fireman's pole to get down? I shouldn't have looked down. How much is he paying you? Not enough. Hey, I give her water and <laughs> she even has her own granola bars. I don't know what more you get. I bought my own food. I let her bring her own food. Oh, leverage. <sighs> okay, that was worse than anticipated. Ow, that smacked me in the face. Say the least, this is different. A lot different. I'm going slow because I don't want to run them over. Put your foot here. Kind of getting that time. We're starting to see ears starting to form. And get on. Oh. You ever have one of them days where you just really don't feel like doing anything? You guys see this old sprayer? You see all these old trailers? They're about to get chop, chop, choppity, chop, 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 chop. Good morning, Scott. What is your professional thought? What's wrong with it? Starter. See, he's that good. It's a super nice day today. Tomorrow they're talking hotter than dog toenails. And what are you checking out? Oh, oh you're mine. You should oh. cord power. Yeah. Cole, you better watch out because I'm amazing. Holy cow. <laughs> the corn looks very, very good. I haven't really pulled a whole lot of ears yet. They're still in that early stage. So, you know, the kernels are kind of small. Taking a look at some beans now. Quite a few little flowers still coming on. The ground is so hard right now. I'll show you here. Look at them cracks. I stick my finger down in there. If we can get some really good rains just to get the ground softened up, these beans here would probably grow a foot overnight. Well, that now hard. Since I'm out in this cemetery, somebody asked, did you do your dad's grave when he passed away? Me and Cooper, Cole, we did dig the grave. This is actually my dad's grave right here. You can still see the end in a little bit. We just figured it's something we always did as a uh, family, dug graves, and we were very proud to be able to dig my dad's grave. He asked us to. What's going on? 
on, DC? I don't know. I hear air leak somewhere, but I can't find out where it's coming from. This looks so weird seeing this side all cleaned up. Engine swap in a cornfield with basic hand tools. <laughs> Surprisingly not comfortable. <laughs> I don't know why we listen to Kevin. I just want to use the skid loader, but he wants to go all primal, do it how our great, 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 great grandfathers would have done it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a lot better. Okay, better right, go forward a bit towards the front. Fell off my shoulders. <laughs> Is the bat batter in yet, Mook? <laughs> we probably should have taught game plan first. Okay, we need to go down with the back. Sure we got the right engine for the car? Do an engine swap in a cornfield, they said. Watch your fingers, Cole. You know what you're doing, Mook. I'm just guiding. I did it! Grandpa Tom, you got any words of wisdom? Is this the internet you're working on? We're at a cave. It is so spooky. Helmet hair. Neva, did you eat the dog beef jerky? Please tell me not. Is this dog? Probably <laughs> 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 no. What? It is storming. Oh, just lost our first branch. It looks like there's gonna be a tornado. I really appreciate the rain that we're getting, but we don't need this wind. The wind is blowing so hard, it's blowing through the door, onto the floor, and then it's dripping down into the basement. Got my lunch though. I didn't warm mine up in time. I've never been in a storm like this before, ever in my life. Is this how bad it gets out here? This is kind of scary. Holy cow, it's like Niagara Falls in here. Holy tamales. That is an incredible amount of wind. In case anyone isn't familiar with being Iowan, the traditional thing to do during a storm is to go out on your front porch with the lawn chair and watch the storm. I would not recommend that during this one. Uh, yeah. Time to head to the basement, guys. Our shade tree that we eat lunch under. That's our favorite tree. Something look funny to you guys? Looks like we lost our 50,000 bushel bin. It just don't quite look right. Fun fact, a new one of these bins runs about $100,000. There's our bed roof. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, we lost the building. That did not look good. Holy oh, smokes. Okay. What right, in the right. world? What are you thinking, Cole? That's a lot of damage. So this was a five million bushel grain storage facility. Not anymore. That guy doesn't seem like he's very happy. Wonder why. Oh, some of this corn is really starting to look good too. See, a lot of this corn is just really tattered up. The leaves pretty much got shredded. Some of it's been over pretty good and some of it snapped off. That yeah. band roof is gone. And all the trees down. Oh, it smokes. Their leg snapped off. Hey, there's groundhog. Yeah, that leg system is down. This is Summer's house. She's got quite a few branches down. Basically, every tree in your yard has something missing from it. I'm on vacation right now. I took a week off of work. And what do I get to do? Pick up sticks. I'm really not worried about any of this stuff because I know God will provide as long as we keep being faithful. We definitely have our work cut out for us, but better things are going to result from these damages. We have two options. We can either sit here and pout about it, cry about it, stomp our feet. It's not going to change anything. Thing, or we can just accept it for what it is and get everything fixed up and better than it was before. We're gonna climb up on the roof here and see what it looks like on the big machine shed. We need to try to get that ready for corn this fall. Holy cow, he's first time, but he's doing good. Probably look worse than we think, maybe. Uh, a lot more holes in it than I thought there was gonna be. The whole distance, ain't it? That side's not as bad. No, but it's still. From about straight above me, almost 90 feet worth is damaged. At least none of my junk got blown away. The little funny man down there, it looks like coal. That cornfield, ah man, I hate to even look at it. Ronnie, our trucker that hauls a lot of corn for us. I just stopped at his place, wanted to check on him. Take a look at this. This is a semi tractor in his trailer. It blew it right over. This trailer somehow flipped on its side. This one blew into it. He had a big shed here. Pretty well took it all. Well, took it down. This building ain't very old. Four it? years old. Man almighty. Absolutely made a mess of everything. This looks horrible. A lot of this corn is completely laid down. I don't even know if a guy can run a combine out here. My garden did not get damaged at all. We got the expert right here. This is Mount Gorland. This is my grandpa's brother. Hi Cole. He just made his YouTube debut. Look at this. We got electricity. Woohoo. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Get out here. 
here. Come on. This little guy, he's just not scared of much. Ugh, the egg cat, come on. Whatever you do, kids, if you're using a hammer, pay attention where you're hitting, because you might hit your hand. Hey chickens, come here, hey, how do I pay you? Buy those at the store like that? They're really great for chainsawing. So we're gonna tear down the damaged part of the roof and then Justin's gonna fix it. Just like that, that easy. Yeah, it looks so show approved. If someone gives me $100,000, now how about this? Yeah, $100,000 and I'll cut my mullet or I'll auction off my hair. I'm not auctioning off my hair, I guess, but I guess if the price is right, I would. <laughs> We got all the falling down tin off. The two ruined rafters are exposed. Every little creak right now, your heart kind of goes Ch -ch -ch -ch. Dad, what are you doing? I'm just hanging around. Looks good as new. Good job, Coop. Thanks, Dad. That was awkward. You just gotta go out there, grab the bull by the tonsils, and take care of things. Get everything back on track. Yeah, grab him by the tonsils. I don't think you realize what he said. <laughs> what? Cool, so grab him by the tonsils. That's what you just said. I did? Yes. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. did. You got it on video. No, I said you grab the cow by the, the tonsils. I don't know what I said, but anyhow, you take the storm by the wind and you get it back in Oregon. They're getting me confused. Just, just, you guys know what I mean. It's kind of like fireworks around here. You could fry a frying pan with an egg on it today. Now, if someone could explain this logic to me. <laughs> Got it! Hey Anna, you chilling out on the lawnmower? This is our bin roof off a 48 foot bin. We're gonna see if they can squish the bin up a little more to get it on this trailer. Did you know Staples actually sells Staples? That's not the bathroom. Don't go through that! Oh, I almost went through. You almost went through, you did go through. Don't go through that! 
Not too bad my wife. Not too. You notice Brian's hat up there. It says best friends forever. That's my, that's my best friend's hat, yep. So in a normal year, about this time, we'd come out, start doing some kernel counts, and we can get a rough estimate of about what that part of the field will yield. Here this year, we're gonna obviously be seeing some variability with the hail that came through, the wind that blew corn over, and some of the drought conditions that a lot of Iowa's been seeing this year. Ah, oh, this corn is difficult to walk through. Well, how you doing, buddy? This is Sunday, and this is Taco. Okay, I know one of you is Sunday, and I know the other one's name is not Taco, but I'm calling you Taco. I wish there was an easier way to get all this rock out of here. As far as disease, the plants are fairly healthy. They do not have a lot of disease that have set in yet. It looks like it's in a hole, but there isn't a hole there. The front axle snapped. Cooper thought he was just going along and the wheel ripped off. Pretty good indicator. There's a hole there. Hey Cole, you wanna grab me a glass of water? Oh, he's inside. Don't worry guys, we'll get all this hard work done. We're gonna go pick beans. And guess who's gonna wanna run the combine? Any guesses? You guessed it, Cole. If you don't do any hard labor, I'll run in machinery. I bet you $100 I can fit in this box. I am. Give me $100. How did the skid loader not fall through this hole? I don't know. It's ready to be seated. Hey, don't drop that ladder, Justin. I think it's finally time to seed the yard. So this is the seed that we're gonna be planting. This is a Kentucky bluegrass. This particular blend is called Blue Heat. It's from GCI Turf Services. Starting to feel like we're getting goat feet walking sideways all day. Is this one of your friends? Yes it is, Rutledge Wood. He's a really cool dude. We have fun here, don't we? Yeah, we do. <laughs> There's a lot of laughing going on. Do you pay him to say that? No, I don't pay him if he doesn't say it. That? I'd put this against my Geo any day. Oh my. Door handle's at my head. Hey, if somebody wants to buy me something, I'd accept it. Well, let's make sure we got some goodies in here, because you never know. They give you a cat with a corn reel. Well said, you're so smart. I want to pet him. I tell you what, some of this corn looks really, really, really good. Oh, hey, looks like we got a little grub right there. You hungry? It smells like pizza in here. Yeah, you wouldn't know anything about that. Why is the pizza oven warm? Hey, do you know why they sent this? What's that? The owner's manual. Whoever uses them. Yeah, what are we supposed to do with this? I like it when strangers show up with stuff like this. If it unloads at 550 bushels per minute, how long will it take to unload 1,000 bushels? Just under two minutes. Man, he's too good. Oh good, he's finally leaving. Now that's a look that I can get behind. Whoa, you guys just about fell to the ground. Inside the box is three more boxes. Let's hear your best auctioneer chant. All right, guys, do you want to? <laughs> that was bad, your turn. All right, what am I supposed to sell? I don't know. Your girlfriend. <laughs> All right, now, can I give it easy now? 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 Can I get 25 cents now? Can I get 25 now? 25 now? 25. Hey, where are your pit vipers? A little bit too dark out to be wearing them today. Yeah. Down 24, 24 yes, and 5. And 24 and 5 and 24 and 5. Over the past four days, we've got 3.6 inches. One, two, three. Now we're gonna have nails everywhere. Now we just gotta put the capping on the edge and the ridge cap on, and we are done. I gotta learn how to drive. You gonna pick that up? Well, since you were last to use it, you can. I'm 
<laughs> back again, guys. I'm Dan with Headsight. And I'm Steven with Headsight. We're here to install a TrueSight kit for our row guidance in corn and to look at our header height control, making sure it's up and functional very well. Pete, I'm not trying to be mean, but I might have to have you put a hat on because I'm getting an overexposure on my camera and it's just not picking anything up. We gotta fix this. This is unacceptable. Hey, Anna, what you doing, girl? What this is gonna do is it's going to feel the rows of corn as it's going along. And it's going to talk to our guidance system on the combine and it's going to give us auto steer. Looks perfectly balanced to me. Looks like the dog wants to play for a minute. <laughs> I just want you guys to know that for every person who doesn't click the like button, there's a baby bunny that never gets to experience what it's like to eat a carrot. So smash the like button so those baby bunnies can eat their carrots. So Nava, what are we doing today? Shaping the yard. Shaping the yard. I like to say we're playing with dirt. <laughs> yeah. We had a couple fans saw your damage and stuff and they sent you some money they wanted you to Oh, they didn't have to do that. <laughs> Tell them thank you. Well, you're telling them thank you right now, Ronnie. <laughs> thank you, folks. Didn't have to do that. Or people go worse for problems, at least I'm still alive. What are you looking at? I hear you're here to vote the right to do it. Words aren't working for me right now. So today we are installing a sensor in the grain tank that's going to let us see what the how much grain is in the grain tank. So how full the combine is. I'm going to take this one home. This is a nice cat. Bill, don't you have enough cats at home already? Do you Listen, really need one more? I have five and that's enough. Cooper got the bean head on. Been almost a year since I've seen that sight. It's official, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the field. Ah. Looks like these beans are yielding about 55 bushels an acre. You can unload a thousand bushels less than two minutes. I think something's caught up in my sickle. Something like this piece of metal. Now we definitely had some yield potential in this field, but this corn is snapped off down on the ground to a point where I really don't think we'd be able to pick it up with corn hay. Not a lot of clearance between the hogger and the grain cart. Hands free, baby. Level of laziness has kicked in. I just collect auto steer and I don't have to drive across the field anymore. Are you nervous, Sable? Trust me, we are really nervous too because we know she's gonna be tearing things up left and right. We're gonna be doing a lot of repairs, but that's okay. Could be interesting. <laughs> Thunder Creek, we're gonna fill up the combine. It's gonna look a lot different having a straight edge, that's for sure. Hands where I can see them. All right, Dad, pop the hood. That's the first new truck we've had on this farm since like 1974. Oh, Cooper, what man. are you doing? I got some chocolate on my mustache and I'm trying to get it off. Hey, have you ever got this kind of chocolate on your face before? All the time, Coop. Hey, don't look. Wait till it's finished product. It's done. The pudding stained my mustache, so I just got to shave this now. 
That'll look better. And find them, grind them. Look at that edge, guys. I got looking around on the internet and I came across this truck that was sitting in Blair, Nebraska at a Sid Dillon dealership. And they were offering a super good deal, a deal that not even I, Mr. $300 Geo Prism could turn down. Looks good. Uh, hydraulic fluid looks good. And a freeze is acceptable. Wave at the neighbor. Ah, looks good. Oh boy, who put this on? Hey there guys. Table here, just chilling in the tractor. We have one field left. 105 acres of soybeans to go and then we are on to corn. Had Zach up here in the combine and he bent the end of the, the bean head. Good thing we had He-Man here. Hey, those are some nice sunglasses. Did you go through the link in the description and get 15% off? I didn't. All I gotta say is these pit vipers are the real deal. Cuckoo! Oh, that never gets old. Just like that, soybean harvest 2020 is over. Ah, well, that worked. Not like I thought it would, Colt Cooper. I'm very glad we got an auto steer on the corn head this year because, oh, I couldn't, I can't even roll this if I try. We are going so slow, the speedometer is not even reading. This is definitely the worst corn I've ever been in. I like to take 30 minutes out of my morning first thing to read the Bible. These are some actually pretty good size ears. We're in 170 bushel corn right now. This corn's kind of messed up. For as mangled as this is, I'm gonna take it. I'm not gonna complain. We have roughly 1,200 acres to go. Thirst buds were thirsty. We can store about 115 to 120,000 bushels of corn in this building. We do have another auger up there. So when that corn gets to that, we'll kick that auger on and it will bring it all the way down here. Hello, Dr. Cornstar? What's the number four? Corn, corn, corn. <laughs> I can't believe this. We found corn that didn't get hit by wind. Oh, hey, look, a $600 snoot that I broke three times in two years. Neva, you broke it. I'm gonna step behind the combine quick. Make sure no corn is spitting out the back. She looks pretty good, actually. This is where it gets to be a challenge. The corn's laying down completely to the ground. Are you those guys who sell those funny sunglasses? I'm not buying. <laughs> I'm Cole, I'm the corn star. I'm Chase, I'm daddy corn star. I'm Dave, hi, I'm the corn star. We're hopefully helping, not hindering too much on the farm today. You're a lot bigger than I thought. Hey buddy, hey. you didn't say we could ride on top of it, you yeah. just said we could drive it. This is way cooler. Yeah. You guys took all the corn from down there, and you put it into here, and then it went into there, and I don't really know what's happening, but I get to eat a bunch of corn, ride on the machine, I'm excited. Oh, what did I get myself into? These weigh a lot more than corn. You throw these in the semi, good way to cheat the system, right? Hey, Grandma! I'm gonna ride with you! Is he loading you down? Yep. This is so much fun! Now you can press the auto steer button, bottom right. Oh, the bottom right? No, you're good, you're good. Bottom right. Oh, this way. Yep. All right, now let go of the steering wheel. Okay, now it's on auto steer. Could you go a little faster? I'm afraid I'm gonna hit you. Cooper got some taco sunflower seeds, and let me tell you what, they're good. Here's the plan. We want to build a bin site that can hold 2,000 acres worth of grain. Whoa, it's gonna be expensive. Okay, come on. Whoa. <sighs> Smells wonderful. Oh, she's pretty full, Clark. Come out here for one day and everything breaks. <laughs> All right, Brandon, I'm sick of you knocking corn over. We're switching spots.
flat combine shopping. Yeah, I think we better speed the dryer up a little bit. While we're up here, we're gonna climb inside the engine bay because I got a couple grease circs down here that I need to hit. There is an entire trampoline in the field. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hopefully this thing works. <laughs> Put our gloves on. Don't worry, boys. If you're over 40, you're fine. What do you think of yellow tractors? There's no yellow tractor. Yeah, tractor shouldn't be yellow, I agree. The worst field we've had this year averaged 115, and the best averaged 155. The champion field is sitting right in the middle. Cooper, Cooper, and Sable are on their last eight rows this is it they're done and it looks like sables in the headline she is gonna beat cooper yes she crosses the line she's the winner that is the best feeling getting done hey, hey, hey. found some teflon d found a tree branch in my way today Don't run into any fences. Make sure she gets started. They grow up so fast. Okay, what are you, probably 15, 16? Yeah, I was right. I, I mean, yeah, I knew that. Oh, that's heavy. There they are, anti-theft tires. They look goofy, but I tell you what, Nobody stole them yet. I found a present, a nice little chunk of concrete. There you go, you filthy animal. We have 108 acres left. You have time, you have the skill, you have the knowledge and the support and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. I have good news for you guys. Well, good news for you, bad news for me. I got Ben quotes. Mom! Where's the Vaseline? And it comes out to a grand total of $1,077,297.73. But seriously, we, we have some negotiating to do. I got this much chili. Can you eat that much chili? Boy, oh boy, do we have a lot in store. Ho, 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 it's a brisk one this morning. Me and Sable, we're eating a nine course meal. We have our French fries, ketchup, Doritos, dip, Miracle Whip, chocolate milk, sliced ham, honey wheat bread. Am I missing anything? So we're in good shape. Me and Dad made a new policy where if you break it, you fix it. So looks like me and you will be able to work like once a week. What do you guys think of this? This is something we're gonna try. See if it will break up the ground a little bit in the hard pan. This could be interesting. This is a 2001 Case IH 2388. It has 5,447 engine hours and 3,952 separator hours. We've ran this combine for the last 16 seasons. We understand this stuff needs a little bit of work, so we're gonna reflect it into the price. For the corn head, the bean head, and the combine as a package deal, we would like $30,000 for it. Oh, this is such a stressful moment right here. Scares the crap out of you every time. Today we're at Cole's house. When the windstorm came through, it blew all these windows out all the way around. We're gonna replace them. Fortunately, the window project got stopped before it even started because the windows come in quarter moon fashion, so two of them make up a half moon. And when the insurance company came up to measure them, they're 46 inches tall and they're 46 inches long on the bottom. So you would assume the rest of the window is 46 inches, but assuming would be the wrong thing to do because the center of the window is actually 41 inches. So they made a $9,000 mistake and ordered the wrong custom windows and they actually sent four of them and we only only needed three of them, so they technically made a twelve thousand dollar mistake. Tired of talking with us, Jamie? No. He's trying pit vipers on. Yeah, he might be it. getting some. You know, like when pit viper guys are down here, they were eating corn like it was going out of style. It's like a pie eating contest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fresh out of the ground. This is the best corn you can get. It's like candy corn, but like if you left it out for a long time, and not very sweet either. This one is not too fresh. If Jamie would put them pit vipers on, maybe he'd eat some corn. <laughs> Ball 
Hey, Coop, you wanna do trick shots? Yeah, let's do it. All right, Zach, you're up first. Running 360 slam dunk. This is called grabbing a Mountain Dew out of the fridge. Outside the shot. Hey, Zach, do it from the grain tank in the combine. This is what real range is. <laughs> All right, ready? <laughs> Sitting down in the back of the shop with my eyes closed, turning backwards. Put in this nice uh, free throw here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna roll the window up, otherwise it'd just be too easy. Oh, you want me to leave a crack? Hey, Zach, coming to you. So we're gonna be able to take this information, plug it into an algorithm to make models for the fertilizer spreaders to go out into our fields. So they'll be able to go to the areas that have low fertility and bump up the levels there. But then the areas that have high fertility, they're gonna put a lesser rate on. We're gonna go through this entire back area and we're gonna go through each and every item and get rid of all the miscellaneous stuff that we don't use. We're gonna go test some moisture in the ground to see if we can run the 340, see if we can maybe do some zone building. Kind of going off the rule of thumb, if we can grab a handful of it and squeeze it and let go, if it stays clotted together, it's probably too wet. Since it's too wet to go, Cooper's gonna bring the zone builder back to the dealer. Bye zone builder that we never got to use. All I have left to go through is under this bench, this wooden cabinet, and then the two bolt racks. Uh, Cooper, that's that's inconvenient. I don't think we're at the right place. Yes, that is a 24-row planter sticking straight up in the air. That's so, right, guys. We are down here at Kinsey Manufacturing today. We got invited to come do a tour. It's always important to understand how you stack up against the competition. Yeah, they got Mountain Dew. All right. I think these would fit on my jeep. Come on, run them over. Holy cow. You're famous. Ta-da. You remember how all these people come up to you and say, are they better looking in real life or on the video? Video. Today we drove down to Kansas and we're looking at a 2017 Case 8240. We're going to try to climb around. Well, that didn't work. We got skunked. I mean, these are nice looking machines and stuff, but they're just not quite what we want. We have a million dollars worth of bins that we need to put up, plus a $300,000 combine, plus a $50,000 corn head, plus a $50,000 bean head, and bam! Just like that, we're at $1.4 million. Dad, you're 20 minutes late. Got good feelings about today? I do, but I'm upset. I've been waiting for over an hour. If we buy this combine, this would be a first for you, wouldn't it? This would be a very, very first. I've never even been in one with tracks. Here we have it, guys. Today we are looking at a 2014 Case 9230 with track. And I forgot to mention, this is a reader's dealer. This should look familiar to you guys, because this is also where the excavator came from. Hey, we bought a combine. It's a nice looking machine, bud. The semi is driving reverse down the interstate right now. How's he doing that? Hey, Sable, I think you missed a spot. Oh, there you go. Imagine this thing as a convertible. The neighbors are like, what's going on? Yeah! <laughs> this is the first side done. Justin has to do it on the other two windows yet. I mean, he's put in a pretty good amount of work to do this. He has. It looks really nice. We're not interested in that, but we possibly might be interested in this. Where'd dad go? Oh, he was in the combine. something we're doing wrong. Why is it not turning easier? <sighs> we got her done. She actually turned out pretty good. Don't underestimate me. Watch this, bullseye. Hey, it's Caleb, not the corn star. Caleb, not the corn star. It's been a while since you've been on the channel. It's been a long time since I've been here. All right, we're going to uh, do a little more shop organization today. We're gonna take this toolbox here. That's always supposed to be back there, but it's never there. We're gonna put it here. Goodness, what's this thing made out of? Steel? You guys notice how Kristen just stresses me and I just It's good for you. <laughs> it's really good for you. This is how exi exciting marketing talk is.
To move our existing leg and hopper bottom, build a second leg in 220,000 bushel bins plus a 5,000 bushel overhead loadout and a 1,000 bushel pit, we are looking at a $930,000 quote. However, this quote does not include electrical, a dryer shack, freight charges, site preparation, fill, or crane and lift rentals. Dart trick shots? Let's do some dart trick shots. I'm not good at this, so I'm gonna stay out of it. Start off easy. I'm gonna stand right here. If you wanna show them the dartboard, it's all the way over there. I'm gonna throw a 60. 360 over the combine. So you think this is gonna be easy, but it's actually not gonna be. I'm gonna throw this dart through the box. Not, there's gonna be no hole when I'm done. Hold on, hold on. Have Zach hold the box. Ready? Yep. All right, she had your up. Through. Me. No, you you throw the dart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey Les, I need to borrow five hundred fifty thousand dollars. Sure. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, here's my lunch money. Okay. Thank you for the lunch money, Cole. This is gonna be one nice thing about the new setup when it's done next year. We won't be moving stuff around like this all the time. Kind of like smearing pudding around on a pudding cake. If you don't have grease, just find a dog turd. The fertilizer guys are here. Hey, 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 hey! The wheels ain't clean enough. <laughs> I just wanna look at the blue line. If you ever find yourself with snow sitting on top of your door, you just need to do the old slam your door. There. Oh. <laughs> Wilson! What is going on? You're in pieces. We're currently trying to start fires, giant wood piles that they took out with the excavator. It's very, very cold. My hands are frozen. My nose is frozen. And they're not wanting to start. She doesn't give up. Box. It's gonna go in the back of Ford. It's gonna have drawers in it. It's gonna take up the entire bed. We gotta put it together. Here we have her. She's in. We'll always be finding new ways we can reorganize stuff or have better ways of having tools around here. And when new technologies come into place, we'll be able to implement those things. So that's going to cause change over time. But now since everything's clean, organized, and has a home, we have a great foundation to really be able to embrace those future changes and implement them in easily. All right, guys. It's getting to be about that time. For some reason, my eyes just... We're kind of starting to get heavy. Well, there we have it, guys. That is everything we did on Cornstar Farms in 2020. Needless to say, I'm ready for a vacation. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>